Okay, hi. It is me in all of my post nap glory. But, um, is my shirt on inside out? No. Um, I've been thinking more about these teens, of course, and, um, I wanted to do, to do some post bodies being found potentially word vomit. Basically, this might be a repetition of everything that I have already said because I've talked about this and talked to you and talked to everyone that I come in contact with about this a whole lot. So if I repeat myself, I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to deal. I've been thinking and reading um, a lot of theories, too many theories actually, and um, personally what I think it was is a murder-suicide situation. Um, <clears throat> if it is their bodies, um, obviously the RCMP haven't released that information yet. Um, I was wondering why hadn't they been identified by their families? That was really the case, but then, oh, hi. How did I switch? Probably um, bugs and birds ate all the soft bits and they couldn't be identified. I heard rumors um, that one of the bodies was found in a suit and that's what Briar's dad had said he was, he bought with his second Walmart paycheck or something like that. Um, so I don't know if that's really true information, but apparently he said that that was going to be his funeral suit when he went out in a blaze of glory. Good. Anyways, basically these two bodies were found like nine kilometers from where the RAV4 was being burnt. Um, that's not that far. And, um, it was a really dense area and apparently they were found because some outdoorsy man was helping the RCMP search and he spotted a sleeping bag. So then um, they started searching that area more intensively, I guess, extensively, intensively, who knows, not me. And uh, <clears throat> then he, they searched the area some more, found like nine items connected to them. Who the hell knows what they are? Speculation is half-eaten pork chops and um, some orange peels, which personally to me sounds like the worst fucking last meal ever if it was a murder-suicide. Or suicide-suicide? Personally, I hope that one of those nine items was a manifesto because I seem, I feel like Briar would be the type, but who knows because I just watched a video literally 10 minutes ago when I was in the bath and an RCMP officer said that they went back to the Nelson River and they were diving some more. One more item connected to them was found. They were like back out there with metal detectors and shit. Um, but the RCMP officer was like, oh, we have to search everything in case there's like a video or a note or blah, 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 blah. So who fucking knows if there is or not, but fingers crossed, because then at least the families would get some answers, right? Either way, murder and suicide seem like the most logical explanation to me, but um, I think that it would be Briar turning on Cam because you did see Orica Laura, Orica, Orica Laura, which by the way, I was like, I told a couple of people this, um, she really missed the fucking boat on not calling herself Oloracle. Anyways, Oloracle said that Cam was soft and that Briar probably turned on him for wanting to turn themselves in. So who knows? She's a psychic, but that's probably to me what happened because like especially since cam's parents literally haven't made any oh my god my husband's calling me okay i lost my train of thought now um what was i saying i think um i have to rewatch my own video okay yeah cam's parents haven't said anything so I think that 
they are probably shook by everything that happened. Well, meanwhile, Briar's dad is fucking flying to Australia to do 60 Minutes, an interview, um, which has some shocking information. So I'm having a fucking pizza party with some girlfriends tomorrow. And I pray that this is on YouTube by then so that we can get to the bottom of this. Because I'm dragging everyone down with me. You have to be interested in this case to be my friend. I'm just kidding. Okay. The only other theory that I have read about it extensively, like, makes me feel insane. Remember when I said that Cam and Briar were being raccoon boys in the dump in New York Landing? Every resident, all 200 of them, just kidding, but a lot of people in New York Landing said that they had heard two gunshots and that Cam and Briar were cornered and that the RCMP got them and they were finally caught, etc. They never could actually confirm um, if it was them in New York Landing or not. Good. So the RCMP released a statement or some shit, I don't know, said in an article, who fucking knows? I'm not um, like an essay with like bullet points being like, this is where I fucking read this because who fucking knows? I will not be sending inf any information. <laughs> um, give credit where credit is due. The internet. Either way, an RCMP officer apparently shot the fucking ground twice because he um, got lost in the woods and he wanted to notify his partners about where he was so that they could find him. But of course, people on the internet are saying that it's a cover up. Those two shots was the RCMP shooting Cam and Briar. The next day, they scaled back their search. The next day, they found them. They planted the bodies. How can they search 1,100 square kilometers, 500 buildings, and not find these two teens? And then suddenly, they're only nine kilometers away from where the burned out RAV4 was? Cover up. Somebody said that the Manitoba RCMP or something got the autopsy results back or something today and that they won't be released until <laughs> they won't be released or the BC won't get them for like a week or something and it's not confirmed that the information will even be made public this is why I could never be a full-time vlogger plus I probably have ADD they haven't connected Briar and Cam to um, the Australian and American couple yet. I call them that because I don't know how to pronounce her first name. I'm so sorry. Rest in peace. But um, I unfortunately saw crime scene photos of the two of them by their van and it just makes me have more questions and it scares me actually to be quite frank I can't get the images out of my head but um, I don't know like don't you think that ballistics or something if they were both shot could connect Leonard and this couple to be like that's the same killer I don't know uh, another thing that I was thinking about they said that that couple was beaten so badly that they weren't able to even have open caskets for them. But um, I just keep on thinking back to that guy in Cold Lake and how he helped them out behind the hospital when they were stuck in the mud and they gave them his their real names. And that guy just like literally backed up to them and went to like go and help them. And afterwards, like in the media, he said that he shook their hands and he described it as soft baby hands, which is creepy in itself. But um, I just like want to know how four soft baby hands could beat somebody so badly that they couldn't have an open casket. 
but like I guess they could have used something else but that like probably you would need a lot of strength or hatred or something because like I often I often wonder but like if they were like on this murderous rampage and some truck was like backing up to them and he they could have literally shot him or done anything why didn't they do you think that any of this has been an accident not to like downplay it or anything like actually no I don't think like it must have been planned there was the suit but I mean maybe they didn't want it to go as far as it did and that's why they killed themselves but I don't know man what do you think I think this is all the spewing that I can do today.